Well, let us begin. Hi, guys. It's me. Ah, here she is, our latest character, Che the Charmer. The Charmer, Char, Mesmer, Charmer. <laughs> I'm clever. We are going to continue with her adventures. <coughs> Dinner and then coffee. How typically American, or at least it used to be. My parents had coffee after dinner pretty much every day. And I'm starting to kind of get into the habit. I do it pretty often when I'm streaming. Less often when I'm not streaming. I'm not sure why. I guess I kind of like uh, routine when I'm streaming. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, at least dye uh, the mounts that I'm using. I don't have to dye all the mounts, but dyeing the mounts I'm currently using would be pretty good. Let's see. How awful can we make it? Yeah. Taffy? Uh, and the taffy glow is kind of nice. Benevolence. Clearly, I am benevolent. Let's see, maybe a... Let's see, we have... Shadow Turquoise. That's more, that's more green. Magenta. Bloody Red. Abyssal Sea. How about Abyssal Sea? That's kind of greenish. Well, it's okay, we can work with greenish, I think. We go with greenish, and we change over to, say, jungle, maybe? That works pretty well. This will be too much, I expect. Huh, it's not really. Oh, sorry, that's the one. It's a bit much, but I'm okay with that. Where are we off to? Well, we are going to um, finish off the... We're going to do our map completion for Plains of Ashford. We're only at 36%. We level a lot faster with the uh, the new system. Well, we've got a heart there, so uh, we'll go get to work on that. Mm. Mm -hmm. I will note that it is one week until the expansion launches. Just one. I wanted to hurry up. Uh, that was not what I was looking for. There we are. All right, we need um, more achievements. Leveling up. Utility skills more. Swiftly. Indeed, swiftly. I agree completely. Uh, more enemies need to die. We need to dodge some more. We need to complete events. And just a bunch of other stuff, too. All right, well. One week. We've been getting dribbles of information out. Uh, this is ghosts, so hello. Are you a ghost? I need to kill you. I need to kill lots of ghosts. Swiftly. 
swiftly indeed. I am nothing if not swift. That's not really true. And spooters, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, spooters. Gotta kill spooters. It's always spooters. And a good evening to those of you who've joined me. Hope your Tuesday hasn't sucked. Captain Callahan. Callahan. We got them all event successful. We're just that good. That is an improvement on what I'm currently wearing, which means, of course, once again, we have to change our dyes. Drum roll, please. No, that's just terrible. It clashes so terribly. We, we can't have that. Fine. We'll wear it, but we won't pretend to like it. So today we got more information about the new system for rewards. We will get no specific items as rewards for logging in anymore. We will get five of the currency. You'll also get currency for doing dailies. I think it's ten for each daily. And doing various other stuff will give us more points. I think there's a cap on the week. Uh, might have been 1,300, I think I saw someone say. And then those points can be cashed in for various goodies, including things like um, Mystic Coins, which spiked up in value very high once people realized that the old method of just logging in was going to no longer work, or at least not as work as, a, as efficiently. That's a better greatsword, but a greatsword is not, I will note, a piece of attire, so we do not have to change our appearance for that. Rules are rules. Gotta stick, gotta stick with the rules, or we're no better than the animals. Of course, we are animals, so kind of definitionally, we are no better than them. We are just like them, except we build um, really big anthills. The announcement of the way the system is going to work had only one thing that I find possibly questionable, which is basically every time they bring out a new reward track, all of the old stuff gets moved into the vault, and you can still get it, but it will be more expensive. So there's a slight amount of FOMO there, depending on how much more expensive. For instance, like right now, the uh, items in the Black Lion statuette go down in price from 60 to 45 to 25 to 30. So if these go up at the same thing, like 50% more, 100% more, 50% more, I'm fine. Double seems a bit much. But we'll have to see the actual implementation. And regardless, the fact that you will still be able to obtain it. Ooh, a Tome of Knowledge. I'm going to cheat. Uh, I'm going to swallow it. Ding, 18. I know, I'm a filthy cheater. I have had so many of these dies. I'm just going to deconstruct it. Three pouches of red pigment. But overall, the system, I think, is very good and very fair in that FOMO is much, much less of a thing as you're not missing out. It will be still available, even if you have to pay some amount more. We'll see what the actual implementation looks like and 
the prices and the like. But overall, I think it's a win for the player base. It allows you to just play whatever you want to play, generally, hopefully, and get some credit towards, you know, cool, free stuff. And I think most of us will agree, cool, free stuff is cool. Is the event going on? It's not. Uh, this heart is one of those painful hearts that's really, really not fun if you don't catch the event. So, uh, Give me the rifle. All right. I now have a rifle. And we use the rifle on drakes and minotaurs and basically you get them down to half health and then you shoot the net at them and you remember to turn on the auto fire for the one key because that makes it a lot faster So all in all, that new the new reward system I think is an improvement. We'll have to see as to how much over time. Swiftly. If the prices go up a lot, then FOMO does kick in and that would not be good. Hopefully they cap at a certain point. No more than double. Son of a bitch! I believe that jerk stole my target because he's a fucking jerk. Anger rising. And indeed my anger is rising, as you may note. But then my anger rising is not news. My anger is almost always rising. I'm a miserable old man. Still, but for the people who have many accounts, I have two accounts. And those who've gotten multiple accounts... I've defeated 50 of 50 enemies. Interesting, these count as defeated enemies, but they're not. Because they don't count for kill counts. Um, but there are people who have many accounts. I have two accounts. And one of the main reasons I got it, I got, uh, I got a second account for free at the time. And so I've been logging into it every day, religiously. Swiftly for the extra goodies. I have almost 500 uh, Mystic Coins on that account. Might makes right. Did that hurt? Swiftly. Oh, we got it done. But there are people, for instance, I believe um, Mighty Teapot has over a hundred accounts that he logs into every day. Well, all these going it's certainly going to be reduced in value if you're only getting five of the currency points, the name of which I do not recall. I have nine characters, actually uh, nine in a character slot. 
on my alt account. Oh, and we've got another writ of experience. Yeah, it allowed me to hit another level. That, by the way, is 1 20th of a level, so that's not actually much at all. But it is another level for me. Dun 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 dun! Let's see, we are at 19. We need to start saving our points because at 21, our first spec line opens up, right? Oh. 21, so we'll start saving up our points. Probably should have started before this, but I'm a failure. Okay, uh, we have a hero point back here as well. You just beat it, so I have to wait a second here. He came back. That's very thoughtful of him. Swiftly. Vulcanite here. Very thoughtful of them. Very nice. See? There. I think generally and genuinely, Guild Wars 2 players are the most sort of passively friendly. Doing stuff like that. You know, oh, someone needs a res. Yep, I'll take a sec. I'll throw him a res. No biggie. Uh, this person needs a hero point. The guy turned around and came back to help. I do the same thing. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of games have, most games have a very large, helpful community. I just don't think the games are designed frequently to make it quite as easy as it is in this game. I'm feeling generous. I think I'll find someone who wants a lesson while I'm lucky to There, you're stronger. Now get out of my sight. Unlike me, when I say she's a charmer, she's not actually a charmer. I'm a charmer. We also got a look at some of the new areas coming out in the expansion. Those looked good, visually at least. I think that stuff mostly came out yesterday. The major city, the hub, uh, the name eludes me, looked uh, visually very good indeed. But as always, uh, sadly, with the Guild Wars team, the um, marketing has been next to non-existent. Good evening. Welcome back. No, not 
it yet. I'm gonna finish Captain Maddox off here and I'll get a free res. Like that. It is um, definitely going. I can confirm. It is still going. Although as a general observation, things fall apart. The center cannot hold. This has been your poetry moment. I have to kill more ghosts. One week until the expansion. I'm getting antsy. Ah, that's right. That's this can be a uh, this can occasionally be a problem. I currently have equipped. In fact, I think I have to unequip it. Uh, a skill. That one. That passively summons a uh, a clone every ten seconds, and they will aggro stuff. And sometimes I don't want to aggro the things they're aggroing. week though. We'll see how long I stay in the expansion. Smaller than EOD. EOD I kept going for, I don't know, maybe a month? Pretty close to it I think on launch. Hitting it hardcore. If it was a month, I should probably hope for about two weeks out of this because it is a smaller expansion. We'll have to see what all is included in terms of real functionality and the like. Light a torch. Light a torch. Res a friend. I have a friend. Light a torch. An Ascalonian. A peasant. A peasant. Ghost or not, that's got the courage to attack a freaking char. Let's res a friend. And that should give us the heart complete. Not quite. We'll res the other friend then. There we go. Heart complete. Swiftly. I'm 50% done with the map. Coming through, guys. Coming through. Pardon me. Pardon me. And another waypoint. Before we forget, this is one on this map. This is the single uh, POI I, or uh, location for map completion. I almost always forget this one right here. I. Got it.
the Grawl Batazor's champion. I do not want to fight a champion level mob, as I would get my butt handed to me if I were lucky. A chest? It's a script burglar! I got polymorphed. That's the sort of thing script burglars do. Swiftly. But we got him. Bag of loot. And he will have dropped other bags of loot as he ran away. And that's why you chase down the script burglar. Oh, there's nothing else in there. Well, I got the script burglar anyway. we miss anything over here? I don't think so. And what is that down there? Is that the champion again? It is the Batazar's champion, and this person's moving right in. Wow! They peeled like a third! He's... Holy shit! The two of them just freaking annihilated that champion. Damn. Level 21. We can now... Domination... Dueling. Let's see. Uh, let's get up above things so we don't have to worry about aggroing while we figure out what we want to do. Let's see. Gain vigor when a critical hit. Phantasms have fury. Illusions inflict bleeding. Grant fury to yourself and nearby allies when you critically strike. I'm not going to have a very high crit rate right now, so that one seems to be largely crit. How about illusions? Probably illusions. Yeah, more stacks of confusion. We'll go with that. Congratulations, we now have illusions. Shatter skill number two throws an additional stack of confusion on and increases the duration by a third. Shatter skill one becomes ammo. When Phantasm becomes a clone, it transfers its boons, reduces recharge on torch skills. We'll go with the shatter skill becoming an ammo. And then compounding power, creating illusion increases your outgoing damage and gives increasing. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. How are you? Uh, is this the Harpy Heart? I think this is the Harpy Heart. It is. More victims. It didn't work out exactly like he planned. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say. Die, groundling! I have to say, they might make right is a really pernicious mindset. set of the playground bully. Might makes right. Matriarch, take me indeed.
Got a new pistol. Better than our old pistol. We got shoulders we can't wear, pants we can't wear, a sword. That's better than our current sword. We currently are at sword, right, sword and pistol. Pants we can wear. New pants means a new die scheme. Them's the rules. And our new dice game. Not guaranteed to be hideous, but probably. Here we go. Actually, that one's not bad. Silt, antique olive, and honey. Could have been a whole lot worse. Swarm frenzy. I just one-shot those? How did that happen? That's not supposed to happen. We have a 248 staff. Slightly better, but it's Condi damage instead of power. Mine's got a sigil. We'll stick with the one we've got. They didn't like that. Seem, seems like they did not appreciate my efforts to... Um, get to this chest. Swiftly. But I will swiftly get to this chest. Made it. Vista. Another heart complete. We'll put away the doubloon. And these pants are better than my previous pants, so guess what? New dies again. M's the rules. say no. I don't think the those two colors, the adobe and the phthalo blue, I, I just don't think that looks good. And the third color, the tarnished steel, actually looks like things are undyed. So I'm gonna I'm gonna veto that one. That's a little better. We've got uh, pastel olive, harvest gold, and moss. Keeping in mind that I am, of course, a mesmer. And therefore, blinding people is a useful skill. Generally, uh, I have to honestly say that um, the, the fashion statements on my, uh, on my mesmers are frequently awful. Intentionally. You know, illusion and um, making people see things that may or may not be there. Um, so, for instance, basically causing uh, the visual effect in your, with your clothing of a flashbang it is, uh, is a positive. An actual, pardon, use of the word boon for a mesmer. Let's see, uh, POI and Vista. So the rest of the week, 
probably more of this character on Tuesday and Wednesday. And, sorry, on Wednesday and Thursday. Today being Tuesday. On Wednesday and Thursday. And then Friday, most likely going to be PoE. We're trying again. Hoping for a good league. Not convinced. Not yet decided on a build. Likely right now the leader is Explosive Arrow. Yeah, yeah, the engineers of Iron Dock Shipyard. Wah, wah, wah. All right, nothing in there. Looks like that heart is our next objective. Uh, this is the uh, Separatist encampment, I believe. So, for instance, we investigate this suspicious bush. Well, nothing came out of it, which is a little suspicious in and of itself. There we are. And we got a sheep, too, while we were at it. So, um, mutton for dinner tonight. <coughs> I don't think I've ever actually had mutton. Stores don't sell mutton in the U.S., Which is unfortunate. I would imagine I would like it. I really enjoy lamb. I bet I would like mutton even more because it's um, more strongly flavored lamb, I suppose, would be a good way of describing it. If I like the lamb flavor, well. that catapult. Oh, there. It wasn't actually in until now. I have destroyed their catapult. I prefer to think of it uh, since I myself am somewhat descended from cats as a char, it's actually a dogapult. Because humans wouldn't use a catapult. Mmm, butter. I always worry about... What is it with some NPCs walking around carrying butter? I'm just saying it seems a bit problematic. first thought is it's some sort of sex thing. I agree. Rely on iron, not false gods. That's today's philosoph philosophical you statement from Iron Legion. And that's uh, art complete. Iron Legion, definitely where I go for my philosophizing. No, did not 
I land my shop, I will try it again. I don't even swim to get there, do I? I don't do walk. Just swim through it. You think you don't like getting your tail wet? Wait until I'm done with you. Seventy-two percent done with the map. I'm going, I'm going. I'll return with word of our victory. Swiftly. Malfunctioning equipment. Why is it malfunctioning? It has a tar elemental in it. Well, I gotta say, it makes sense that it might be malfunctioning. We've got to fix the malfunctioning equipment. Apparently there are a shitload of tar elementals around here. Nobody's cleaning out the uh, machines, I guess. Defeating enemies, too. Completed. Level. Ding. 22. Let me uh, res Nardo here. Nardo Burncore. Whatever you you did wrong, Nardo, try not to do it wrong again. Oh. Looks like somebody uh, let out the uh, tar elemental and he wasn't ready for it. And so it ate his face. Fortunately, I have my uh, face repair kit on me. Ooh, it dropped a clump of tar. I'm so lucky. More malfunctioning equipment. Fix it. Heart complete. 75%. Uh, we'll go to the heart vendor and sell our junk. And also that. Two forty-eight. I think we had a higher level one, right? Yeah. Uh, no, but we liked the stats better on the other one. I was manufactured to the highest standards. I wasn't actually manufactured. Uh, I was made in the standard way, the old-fashioned way. I do think that the map um, reveal should be a little bit larger in the game. Tyrannea the Unyielding. Was she fighting the Warthog? Is that what killed her? Welcome to Ascalon City. We're still fighting a battle. Take me down to Ascalon City. The humans are astral and have no pity. Wow. I res them, but it's not worth much in the way of heart progress. Armored up. I'm armored up. Not to be confused with liquored up. Sadly, I am not liquored up. I'll repair the flag. Grab that, and now we're gonna murder some ghosties. Might makes right. Velorendus. They are a cabbage. A silvery. Stop blocking all of my attacks. Jerk. Well. 
we need to go up there. That was suboptimal driving by yours truly. back. There is a hero point up here that we need. So All right, we got rid of the veteran mob. There's another veteran mob up here, however. So we start by knocking them on their ass, just for starters, because it's funny. We will commune with this place of power. not like that it doesn't default to the same skills underwater. That is not a welcome piece of game design. So that the first time you go into water and you realize, oh dear, I don't actually have any of my um, utility skills equipped. It should at least by default try and equip them. All right, he wants to fight, so I have no choice. scale going to come cause problems? Nah, he's, he knows better than to mess with me. Smart bog scale. We are 82% done with the map. over here. Eighty five percent. I've got a heart there. That's kill ogres and their pets, destroy their supplies, weapons, and homes. Swiftly. I'll do it swiftly, I promise. Jeez Louise. Well, I have to stop for onions. Onions are delicious. 
my dinner tonight. Included onions. Swiftly. Oh, where are the damned ogres? Looking for ogres. That's right there over here, aren't they? I pushed back the ogres. That was really violent pushing. You can tell. Swiftly. There is a waypoint in this ogre town that can be very problematic given the status of the town and that sometimes it's difficult to get into it as it theoretically is meant for you to run through the local meta event first to get it done. in the state Swiftly. where it will bounce you back. Uh, that's five out of five events. And another level. Put those away. Can't use the shield. We only have access to one water weapon. Trident 216. Trident 174, so no, we have access to two, but we already had that, uh, one of those, so this get is salvaged. The only report. We're gonna see if we can get in. I think we're gonna get bounced. We're not, we did not get bounced, okay. Maybe they changed that? Maybe. I mean, it could be annoying when you're trying to do um, a map completion. And the map was in the phase where the bad guys, the ogres, still controlled it. You had to run through the meta some cases to actually get access to it, and that's the way you were supposed to do it back in the day before we had mounts. It was understandable at the time, now it would seem like pretty kind of abusive design. Having to do a complete meta for stuff used to be pretty necessary. generally more frowned upon. Guild Wars 2, like most MMOs, has gotten more casual over the years, and I don't object to that. Oh, the door is open, so that is why... why we could get in. The door is open, the event is ongoing. There's the heart complete. Two hearts to go, and two vistas and two POIs. Two hearts, two vistas, two POIs. Easy peasy! Note, I cannot vouch for the easiness or the peasiness. Affirmative. There's no guarantee that it is either easy 
or peasy. Let alone lemon squeezy. dicey because there is a cave troll who lives right there. Thought it was a veteran, but maybe not. Evidently not. Anger rising. I'm not it my anger isn't really rising. Not yet. Wait until Friday. POE. That always seems to get my anger up. Two hearts, a Vista, and a POI. Let's touch and go right on their front porch. LOL! Sorry, I lolled. I feel shame. But I regret nothing! Yet I feel shame. Weird. Perhaps I enjoy the feeling of being shamed. All right, we've got the last of the waypoints there. Let's real quick sell crap to empty out our inventory. And get better tools. Swiftly. Yeah, I currently have copper, so we'll get iron. We're almost out of the mining anyway. We haven't done much of the harvesting. Swiftly. Swiftly, I get it, yeah. Jeez. All right, that led us to the waypoint. Where's the last heart? Well, it's not the last heart. We missed a heart somewhere. And a POI, probably. There should be a POI down here as well. But we have failed in our economical, hopefully no real back and forth, exploitation of the map. And, um, yeah. Yeah. An oily scale sack. Ew. I have no idea what the green smoky thing there is. How is it freaking obstructed? I'm standing right next to it. in the past my dislike for anti-exploit mechanics. Where if the game thinks you're exploiting, you can't damage the, your target. It can still damage you, though. So even if what the game thinks is happening isn't happening, you can still be screwed. Regenerating so fast, you jerks. Grab 
some scale eggs. Head up here. Are these eggs helpful? Uh, how about these sacks? Let's res an Iron Legion Engineer. We'll make a friend for life. More scale Switch eggs. Me. Eggs were helpful. Breakthroughs you can share. We'll sell our junk. Throw away the extra sack. And we have 299 eggs. In fact, eggs were the primary ingredient in my dinner this evening. So I've had, I have harvested both eggs and onion. If I can harvest bacon, those were the three ingredients in my dinner tonight. All right, we missed one somewhere. Wow. Okay, and that one is understandable. Over here, where did we miss one? There and there. And that heart we didn't finish up. Okay, well, that's three of them. Ah, uh, yeah. This is actually a difficult one, or can be a difficult one, especially if you don't have flying. Got flying, it's a lot easier. Like that, say, for example. We touch and go. Oh, we don't even have to touch. We just go. I need to wipe out more ghosts. I'm the ghost with the most, baby. more ought to do the trick. Swiftly. Oh, he's a veteran. We'll res these guys instead. I'm a healer, you see. Healing Mesmer, clearly. That, I believe, is just one more POI. And it's back where we started. It thinks I'm in combat, despite the fact I'm not actually in combat. We'll see how um, the ability to mount your sky scale while in combat will work in the expansion, because that's a thing. We're about to finish map completion, which gives us about a 30 or 40 percent. I can't remember. I think it's 30, about one in three chance of uh, getting another key. There it is. Map is complete. Drum roll, please. No key. This makes me sad. Uh, boots I can't wear and a weapon I can't use. 
I will repeat what I've been saying for years and years, which is I'll that those rewards really should be usable by your class. I, I feel that way, and I'm sticking with it. I'm going to AFK for a second, refill my coffee cup, and then we're off to uh, Queensdale. back and I have once again remembered to remove the AFK. Swiftly. And we are going to take a trip. Daily gathering from our board. 735 writs of Saitung Province. Lion's Arch. First time for this character, so it loads in in the bad, dumb location so you can get the uh, cinematic reveal of new Lion's Arch, which is fugly. Old Lion's Arch was awesome. New Lion's Arch, fugly. This time we will at least, however, remember to grab the waypoint at the uh, bank slash crafting area. Before we head off, To land of the humans. Uh, Seraph. Because theirs is the fastest and most straightforward of all the starting areas. I like to do two or three starting areas for leveling first. I've been doing that for, well, quite a while. Also, the maps tend to be smaller. So you get more shots at keys. Oh, sorry, did I pick up some more points? Yeah, I did. Uh, illusions. Just one. What do we get? What do we get? What was in the box? Sorry. Um... When a phantasm is created, grant it distortion. And we exit into Queensdale.
event going on. Victory was ours, me and Aliahana. Perfectly reasonable name. Thank you. My cows thank you. Everyone who eats beef and drinks milk thanks you. Well, as a char, I can assure you I eat beef. After all, we're the ones who have a holiday named Meattoberfest. Swiftly. Humans don't celebrate Meattoberfest. Just us char. What, what happened to the cows? How can I dance with the cows? There's no cows around. There we are. I'll dance for the cows. They love it when you dance for them. Swiftly. Is it weird? Sure. It's weird. It's really weird. But you know, cows are cool. Cow cows are people too. Okay, not technically. Uh, we'll go with power. Still at uh, four, yeah. Swiftly. Crawfish draft. Well, we're three for three now. All. All have had uh, drakes in them so far. Four for four. Five for five. This is ridiculous. Normally about like half of them are empty. Swiftly. Uh, are we going to get all of them? No, the last one didn't. All of the rest had little friends inside. That was another heart complete. Looks like new territory. Wow. I'm a brainiac. My expectation for the expansion is I will be playing my most played character, the one I've done all of the game all content the in, except for raids and strikes and dungeons. Which is my Swiftly. dragon hunter, guardian. Goes by the name of Spongo Smallberries. greeted my first character, the wonderfully named Lens. Uh, that was right at launch of the head start. I got Lens and was pleased. And about five minutes later, I went to make my second character, Spongo. And the name was taken. Who the hell takes the name Spongo? I mean, other than me, and I'm weird. I made up the name 
for uh, they're almost defeated their entire army already their morale is so low right now one more two more should do it oh, we'll make sure we'll let biz coco there get started on killing that one and make sure he gets some kills in 666 experience the experience of the devil So I had to uh, go with Spongo Smallberry. It's his full name uh, from Lord of the Rings Online. My Hobbit Burglar. Shiny red apples. Spider. Got an apple. Always want to turn one in as fast as you can to make sure that the event doesn't end without you. Doesn't end without you getting some credit, at least. Squish a spooter egg. We've got apples, lots of apples. We'll turn a boatload of apples into Farmhand Paris. I'll take what you have, but we're almost out of time. Swiftly. So I'll get full credit for the event. And continue to squish spooters. only got a silver for eight of them? Seriously? That's not right. All right, art complete. And we've got three more red apples. Yay, the event's over. I guess I get to keep my apples. How do you like them apples? Not so much, actually. Do I get dodging experience? Because I needed more dodges, I think. Hmm. Evidently not. Or had it. Whichever. There is, in here, a vista. So we will grab that first. And then we'll return and murder mobs. going on. Oh, there's a, there's a guy coming over here. I want to make sure he gets tags in on the event, too. Hit it, most fair. Whatever your name is. Oh, I guess he's not interested in the event. He's just trying to get to the vista. Fine. It's fine. I'll get a gold medal then. And he can get whatever it is that he gets. Got another bag. Five slaughter? Five slaughter. Over 
The fun was over there where I guess he defines fun as painful death at the hand of a mesmer. Stuck in... There we go. We needed the AE to kill that one because it was stuck in the feed bag. See, the obstructed. It's a real annoyance in the game, especially in this area. Sadly, uh, I don't think that's the kind of thing. They're not especially good at repairing or fixing or tuning the Guild Wars 2 team. They don't seem to pay much attention to those sort of details. And we'll turn in the stolen supplies to the person from whom they were stolen. And not quite get what I need for the level. I mean the heart. There's the heart. Complete. It's Mr. Dr. Wong. That's what it says. Mr. Dr. Wong. Mr. Doctor. I'm not sure that's how that's supposed to work, but... Uh, 240 scepter. This one is better than my old one. It was manufactured to the highest standards. I'll talk to Cassie. Hi, Cassie. You're looking good. You changed your hair. And we'll throw that away. Someone has sent out a message to the map saying they've set out a hero banner and all kinds of different foods. Everyone, please help yourself and thank you so much for playing the best MMO in the world. I'm here to make it your favorite. As I said earlier, a lot of MMOs have really, really good people. But I think the hit rate, so to speak, in Guild Wars 2 is probably the highest. Lord of the Rings Online would probably be second. Although it does suffer also a bit from the fact that it is a more standard MMO, mechanically speaking. And so you're more likely to get, uh, oops, free to play players from other MMOs who hang around. And generally speaking, no offense to anyone who plays primarily free to play, but most, the uh, hit rate on jerks from free to play players is higher than pay to play because, well, they're not as um, dedicated to the game as already invested in the game doesn't mean you can't be jerks who are deeply invested in the game, because you sure can. Swiftly. I will raise this person from the very dead. To the very alive. Uh, I will also note that uh, my understanding of the uh, PvP community in Guild Wars 2 is they're as toxic as the PvP community in most every other game. I myself am not a pvp -er, so I cannot comment on the accuracy of that, but that is the reputation I have heard. That's what happens when you have random queuing 
competitive environment. And a not very accurate MMR system that also is made every bit as strong. Or every bit as uh, bad, I suppose. Because the community is relatively small. And so you see a lot of the same people. That's the heart. But I've never done much PvP. I did a fair amount in Star Wars Old Republic. Did some in WoW. But when I was doing it in WoW, I was doing it with my guildies and some randoms. In Swator, it was mostly randoms. I'll note Swator also had my single favorite PvP mode of any game. It had an asymmetric game mode where one side would attack and the other side would defend. And then they'd swap positions. And whoever did it the fastest defeated the other guy the fastest when they were uh, attacking or defended for the longest would win. It was just a really cool implementation of a PvP game. The asymmetry, I thought, made it much, much more interesting than, you know, the standard PvP five-on-five -five match where both sides face exactly the same challenges with the map layouts being symmetric and whatnot. It's perfectly fair, but if you make a mirrored asymmetric mode, that's perfectly fair, too. Pardon the yawn. I am already 32% done. 34% done. Next up is the most boring heart in the game. Really boring. Did we uh, pick up any more points? One? Oh, that's, that's enough, I think. I think we needed five more for the next one. We did! Dun dun! And let's see. That's Phantasm gets distortion. Phantasm spawn with quickness. Gain quickness when you create a Phantasm. Well, that's easy. Quickness is good. Hold. Hold. Six more hero points. Hey, what do you know? I get another one. Let's see. Um, shatter skills inflict torment on hit. That's pretty good, too. Let's stick with quickness for now. How do I train with rifles? Okay. I will take aim. He'll say hold one to three times, and I'll say fire, and then you let up. Like that. You gotta do it nine times, or ten times. Aim. Hold. 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 Two or three. Never block me like that. Oh. Try to do your cue just as I launch my attack. Your 
time is precious. Fire! Good. That's how you okay. block an attack. Not bad yeah. at all. Let's keep at it. Like I said, boring. I'm reading chat. There's a low-key argument going on. I'm not sure what it started about, but now they're arguing as to whether they're going to um, block each other with ooh, a terrible threat. Not bad at all. Let's keep at it. Calling people an info dump is toxic. One of them's being um, really self-important. Sadly, it's the guy who was giving away freebies. somebody what a what a brutal way to treat someone okay grow a pair in block and I'm over Not bad at all. All right, we have up and finished. Like I said, it's the most boring heart in the game. This guy keeps talking about how he's happy to end the drama, and then he keeps talking about the drama. Got another hero point hidden back here. Hidden by ogres. Ettens. Sorry, my bad. Ettens, not ogres. Including veteran Ert and Bert. I'll take some of the sludge. He took. He got a swing off, but I got the sludge, and the sludge is the hero point. Sorry, Ert and Bert. The two-headed... Etten. Poor dude. I feel kind of bad for him. And he got a swing off at me. But missed. I grabbed some of his glop and bailed. Uh, Ert's unguent. The stench is almost unbearable. One gulp and you'll understand why Ert is so green and angry all the time. It turns you green. I didn't realize that. Okay, I'm green. And 
seemingly angry. Hey, connect it. Good evening, my friend. I'm no longer green from eating Ert's unguent. Him. We just need to finish this one off and we get the hero point. Go me. Victory is mine. I have defeated evil again. It's kind of my, my deal, you know. Defeating evil. Sounds like it should be easy. It's not, it's not always easy. Fortunately. Almost always up to the task. Next up, the Windmill King. Who will discover, much to his displeasure, that I am an evil magpie. <gasps> there he is, Chick the Windmill King. He's right, I'm not a dragon, but neither am I an evil magpie, to the best of my knowledge. I am not now and never have been, nor do I identify as a magpie. However, I am a meat popsicle. Movie reference. the expansion and we've got poe on friday theoretically for the weekend as well next monday i will probably do a key farm with another new character the last one for a while until we get the expansion until after i've gone through the expansion probably a couple of times going to be so slow like a little kid on Christmas I just can't wait let's kick over these scrit shiny things We do cultural imperialism right around here. We've 
gather 50 materials. Uh, if that last one, or one of them, had five butter on him, you know? I really, really do get concerned about getting a half a dozen butter of a critter. It's, uh, it's just worrisome. Alright, we have finished off that heart. Next up, boars and traps. Ladies and gentlemen, boars and traps. And maybe an occasional res. Uh, that veteran dire boar does not like me resing the hunter, so I will leave. Jerk. Care to guess who killed the hunter? My money's on a certain specific veteran dire boar. I hate to point fingers, but it was the one that just chased me off. Yep. Okay, maybe I don't actually hate to point fingers. here. Oh, nice. The other guy's helping out. He's needing boars as well. Who doesn't enjoy bacon acquisition? But we've not actually gotten bacon drops from these. But we can pretend. And that means we'll have gotten all of the components for my dinner as drops tonight. Eggs, bacon, onions. Swiftly. Bacon and onion frittata. And really, bacon and onion almost anything is going to be good. Lens, you interested in bacon and onion ice cream? Sure. Give me it. Let me let me try that. That sounds good. I was kidding. I'm not. That sounds good. This is an unpleasant heart, but doesn't appear to be anyone else around, and under that circumstance, it's not terrible. It's a really bad one. If, if there are a bunch of people here, it's, it's actually awful. But with nobody here, it's not terrible. The problem is, is most of the things here are not easily shareable or anything like that. Stop freaking evading. God, I hate those mobs so much. A lot. I, I hate them a lot. Yeah, I'll stick with them. Oh, I take it back. There is somebody down here doing uh, the crabs. So what you have to do is you have to aggro the crabs. And then have them chase you to a crab cage and then activate the crab cage. But about half of the crabs will um, anti-exploit. You can't actually aggro them. So 
See, it says there isn't one nearby. Keep saying there isn't a, a there. Finally, third time. It's right next to the fucking cage, but no, it says there's nobody nearby. You have to kite him and then hope that the crab cage actually works. And sometimes they don't even aggro. It's just a cluster fucking the fact of the matter is, is a good port at the time, well, it doesn't work at all, and if there's somebody else around trying to make it work, and they're getting to them before you can, eh, well, it's just tough luck for you. You have to wait for respawns either on the scale or the crabs, if there's somebody else around. So it's a... See, this person is killing stuff out here. So it's just a really poorly designed heart. The quickest, easiest answer to that problem would be to increase the amount of points progress you get. Whoops, I'm going to turn away so that the other guy can get, get hits on it. There. That's the only way you can sort of share progress. Other than that, it's all solo, and it's crap for that. There we go, heart and level. Swiftly. A resilient Crichton bow, which I cannot use. That's Crichton, Crichton bow. Crichton bow you got there. And one of my favorite hearts, because it's just a lot of different things you can do for progress. And it's a nifty little town. May well, that was very nice of her. Dwayna bless you too, little girl. We're already 60% done. Swiftly. Wasp nest. We cannot, in, uh, sadly, we cannot pet the drake hounds, as far as I know. Disappointing, I know. Can I help you? You did! You helped me get the heart completion. Thank you, kiddo. Beatrix, kiddo. Movie reference. We're 61% done with the map. We won't be finishing it up tonight. Got another hero point over here. We will be taking that. Believe it, old man. Wait, I'm an old man, too. I shouldn't mock the old guy. Lest he turn around and mock me. What do you need? To sell the junk that is in my inventory. We have five points. Is that enough for one more? It's not enough for another tick just yet. This is a Minister Codicus's uh, home. As you can tell, very low key and sedate. Not really. You 
You can tell from the first time you see him that he's a bad guy because of his beard. Not all beards, beards uh, indicate if someone's a bad guy, but this one, Swiftly. it's clear that he's a bad guy from the moment you lay eyes on him. The beard. And not only is he a bad guy, he's a bad guy from, I think the second dungeon you get access to is his manor dungeon, more or less. And then uh, he continues to be a thorn in your side until the end of Living World Season 3. I picked 13 heads of lettuce. Now we got an onion. Two onions. We had salad dressing. We could make a decent salad from that. I, myself, big fan of onions, so. Didn't used to be. When I was a kid, hated onions. And we are have to destroying weapon have to destroy weapon racks in here. We'll see if I can get myself not killed. destroyed the first weapon rack. I will be broken, evidently. I was informed that I'll be broken. Not sure how I feel about that. Me and the Seraph and at least one other player taking care of this. Hatherfield is their character's name. Uh, they appear to be a thief, I do believe. player here. Tim Tim Salabin. There's one more weapon. There we go. We have completed the event. We've recaptured it. The heart is almost complete. Not quite. Need to kill a f couple more. of uh, the centaurs, the Temini. Tim Tim Salabin. At least I know that I understand the reference. So, uh, there we go, heart complete. So I will be calling it an evening shortly. Expect to be back tomorrow with the usual nonsense. 
at the usual time, give or take. So that's for Wednesday and Thursday. I expect more of the same. Continuing to level this character up. And then Friday will be PoE, the new PoE League. Might makes right. Which is their implementation of an auto battler. They had luck with the uh, um, rogue light that they implemented as a seasonal mechanic last league, I think it was. I didn't particularly care for it. We'll see if I like this one better. Part of why I didn't care for it, however, was simply that my build was a melee build, or short-range build at any rate. And it was definitely one where 174, 218, current sword. Yep, that one can go. Um, the mechanic was friendlier to um, ranged. And my build was a PBAOE build. I see the color of your coin. So one of the things I always like about the game is uh, every three months you get a new seasonal mechanic in for the game, and most of the time they're good and interesting and fun. And when they're not, my experience with the League is significantly impaired, let's say. It's not difficult. The Pygmy mowers are quick. Just get them in the pen. I'll take over from there. So I'm going to return to here, and I think I'm going to call it an evening. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me, as always. I do appreciate it very, very much. Um, I should be back tomorrow at the usual time, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. I started a little early tonight. Who knows? Might do it again tomorrow, just to spite you all. Um, more Guild Wars 2, leveling this character up. Che the Charmer, and um, that'll probably hold for Thursday as well, and then Friday... POE, and more importantly, most importantly, next Tuesday, one week from tonight, actually, in the morning, one week from today, I'll probably start as soon as the servers come up and I'm awake, uh, Secrets of the Obscure, the new expansion for Guild Wars 2 launches. Um, and as always, uh, they've done a really terrible job in marketing it. Most people, even lots of people who play the game, are not really aware that there's an expansion coming in a week. Marketing, uh, not their strength. Uh, as somebody said, the M in ArenaNet stands for marketing. Responsibility isn't easy. And on that witty note, I'm going to call it an evening. Uh, I hope the rest of your... I've got the right day, right? Yeah, good. Uh, Tuesday night goes great. And the rest of your week goes smooth. Tomorrow's hump day. You can make it. The weekend is just over the hill. And a couple of days away. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, hopefully the rest of your evening goes great. And also, hopefully you will catch me soon. Uh, back again tomorrow. Have a great night tonight. Take care. And ciao for now. Good night, guys.